सरस्वती नमस्तुभ्यं वरदे कामिणी विद्यारंभम करिष्यामि सिद्धे भवतु मे सदा वसुदेव सुतम देव कंसचानूरमर्दनम देवकी परमानंदम कृष्ण वंदे जगद्गुरु कृष्ण वंदे जगद्गुरु हरिओ नमस्कार ये सारे रिक्वेस्ट अगेन पार्टिसिपेंट्स हो कैन टर्न ऑन वीडियो फीड्स प्लीज डू टर्न ऑन द वीडियो फीड्स एंड सो वी बिगिन टुडे विद अ क्वेश्चन इट वाज शेयर्ड बाय राखी जी राखी जी वुड यू बी एबल टू जस्ट वंस मोर रिपीट द क्वेश्चन सो वी कैन देन गो अहेड जी प्लीज अनम्यूट जी या So the bottom left corner of the screen, then the no mute. Yeah, yes. So basically, uh, I was reading, uh, you know, something, and uh, I came across this that uh, the four purusharthas and the three gunas, they, you know. Uh, when one reaches one when one has achieved uh, self realization they uh, go back to their source and uh, that's how and further to that we uh, you know uh, reach the highest goal of self realization so uh, this thing i was not able to understand so i thought maybe if we can discuss it today in the morning okay. uh maybe you know okay. if you can guide us through this purusharthas the connection with the gunas with the three gunas yes and and the supreme goal and how it is connected with it so and uh, yes yes that's it isn't it that is a question yes. okay okay yes. Okay, thank you. That's a very interesting question, and that's a nice uh, connection also of the Purushartha with Gunas. So I think uh, we have these four Purusharthas. This was part of Sanatan Dharma. There are various uh, like you have this. Uh, there's a quartet, isn't it? Like that, Dharma, Artha, Kama, Moksha. Like that, there is also the there are Chatur Varna, Sri Aurobindo called up Sapt Chatushta. Seven types of quartets. Like if you see, and uh, we have everywhere significances. Significances of uh, the one number. Significance of three. Significance of four. So here it's specifically. Uh, just a moment. Uh, someone's yeah. Just mute, Moneji. Yeah. So this uh, Purushartha, Dharma, Artha, Kama, Moksha. Rakhiji has brought a good uh, connection with the uh, gunas. What is the connection with the gunas, and what is the connection with the highest goal? The purusharthas are part of our society only. Dharma, artha, kama, and moksha was the final. The three, the three of the four purusharthas were uh, connected with each other, and the aim was to reach the fourth, that is moksha. Can we not look at all the four purusharthas first one by one? What is dharma? Anybody? Follow the path of the dharma. Yes, sir. Okay, dharma is. But what is that dharma for a person? Say an individual, a householder. To take care Do of the reserve. Sir, yes, sir. Doctor, uh, yes, Deepak ji. Uh, after I will come to Doctor Tavi ji. Yes, Deepak ji. The householder's dharma. Uh, to take care of the responsibilities of our family and uh, society. Ah, uh, to care, take care of the responsibility of the family. So that is the dharma of the householder. Performing. Yes, doctor. Uh, that means you were saying your duty means each person's duty according to what they are doing is the dharma. Uh, according to each person, we have to do the duties. So a student, a student has the dharma of studying. 
for learning or gaining knowledge. So that is the initial, that is the entire thing. Now, can a person have more than one dharma at a time? If we equate dharma to duties. So for a person who is hungry, huh? for that person, his dharma is to fill his stomach. Stomach. Aj, for a okay. person who is thirsty, for that person, the dharma is to quench his thirst. Okay. And uh, for a householder, it is to take care of the family. For a person who is working uh, as an employee, hmm. his work is to uh, fulfill his job description and his duties as that person. But then uh, is dharma selfishness then? We have selfish uh, aspects. So is dharma looking after the selfishness? I want this. I am doing this job. Because I have to get money, because I have to get food on the table only. No, but you, you actually, actually, we all fall into that. I mean, uh, oh. we basically Gee. start with that only. Uh, but then we realize that uh, there is more to it. When, yeah, when when we when we do it, uh, because see, we are employed to a particular position because of our skills, of our. Uh, acquired talents yes now one thing is that uh, you just fulfill that because you need you will get your salary mm -hmm. right the yeah. other is that you know that it is uh, you know you have those skills to perform that uh, and whose job is it to you know uh, improve the skills is it the job of the employee or the employer? Sorry, I didn't get your the question. Improving the skills, improving the skills, whatever we have. We are using the skill set. That is what we describe job. So if that is the case, the onus of improving the uh, skills lies, lies, with on... me. lies with me. Okay, it lies always. with you. Yes. Yeah, always. Uh, all right. So that becomes now your dharma towards yourself, isn't it? Swadharma. Yes. We can call it a dharma towards ourself, which we can call swadharma. Yeah. But for the employee's organization, if the organization is not fulfilling its dharma towards the employee, what happens? The employee leaves the organization. So the employee also has a dharma towards the employee and the employee has to improve his skills and the atmosphere must be created conducive by the organization for the employee to improve the skills. Otherwise, again, there's a clash. So, actually, at any given point, like you said, there is one towards ourself, but then when we go deeper, we see our self is connected with the society also. That is what Krishna keeps saying in the Gita, Loka Sangraha. So, it is like we have a dharma towards ourself, yes, but there is a dharma towards society also, and they are all very inexplicably linked. So, a big, uh, like at any point of time, one person, if you say even a school student who is in, say, 10th class, he says, I have too many things. It is like too many things to do. I have uh, I have this tuition, I have this school, I have this school, I have a uh, I have my own personal aspect which I have to look at. I have to fulfill the homeworks. And many times in life the same thing happens is when we are not clear on what is our dharma. We feel we are juggling, we are balancing too many things, and then that comes a big problem of managing the dharma. In a hospital, where I keep repeating this experience. Uh, Raju, do you want to say something? Yes, sir. Please unmute, sir. Uh, please unmute, sir. Please unmute, sir. Ji. Uh, no, I was listening to you. I wanted you to complete and then uh, you say. Yeah, something. please go on, sir. Please go on, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Achha. No, this is, uh, I mean, in my opinion, it's a very loaded question. Uh, yeah. There's no about it because it covers almost everything that is to be known and uh, the entire path of reaching over there. Yeah. So, uh, since we're talking of Purushartha, um, actually, in my view, this, uh, I mean, uh, Dharma, uh, Artha, Kama and uh, Moksha. Hmm. So, basically, where does this Purushartha start? Purushartha actually starts with a sense of separatedness. And that separatedness is actually one which we experience a separatedness from the universe 
separatedness from others and separatedness from brahma itself now this is something which is also a part of the gunas i mean when we are born yeah. this separatedness yeah. actually brings us about so now in this state of individuality which we are actually going to traverse the entire journey there is at the base a desire and that desire is actually to attain happiness which is everlasting or stay yes. away from sorrow in every way now that desire is what is actually calm and the means of achieving that desire those desires is actually earth and the method of doing it is actually spelt out by what is known as dharma when we when we want to uh, follow that and of course yes, the yes. end aim is actually moksha which yes. uh, uh, which is covering everything so this is uh, at the heart of purushartha i mean how we are Ji. plunged into yeah. purushartha why we are plunged into purushartha and how we wish to be guided uh, into achieving uh, the ultimate aim at the end of our yeah. life wherever okay. we want so yes, that is dharma actually yeah Yes. so uh, uh, kaam is the uh, is the desire in order to do that artha are all those means uh, uh, that are there dharma is actually the method of getting over there like when you said whose responsibility it is whether it is your responsibility or the factory's responsibility or the company's responsibility so here things like vyashti and samashti come into ah. picture so it is your individual uh, method and then how you relate to society so that is that is something which gets clarified and yeah. finally it is the moksha which is yes. the ultimate aim of everyone uh, to reach so okay, basically sir. this is this is what is uh, purusha okay ji sir ji sir rajiv ji but one interesting thing rajiv ji has said that uh, artha is the means we will come to all four but dharma is also the means for attaining the moksha so dharma is now turning out to be means also isn't it sir the way you go actually, towards uh, holding the dharma you so have to hold the that, dharma yes sir that is why i have wanted to i thought that you know how do you distinguish between these two ha, one yes, is sir. actually one is actually what i would say is uh, uh, the skills or the means that are going to get you there and dharma is the is the methodology which you need to follow in order to get over there so these are that is that is the distinction which Uh, okay I between dharma and artha dharma, and, dharma and is and like artha. the laws of thermodynamics are laid yes artha is the implementation <laughs> of the thermodynamic laws to make a yes. refrigerator right. or say another yes or a, yes. or the heating engine all right yes. whichever you want to you want to withdraw heat or you want to pump heat whatever may be the way the laws right. will not change so the laws yes. are so dharma is like a sacred law correct right. a sacred law that connects each every individual with rajiv ji brought about two more beautiful concepts vyashti and samashti we are in a society again we just thermodynamics was my least favorite subject unfortunately i am remembering it today so there is something called system and surroundings so that is how you have to understand the individual like when you design a machine you have to first study the system study the surroundings interaction of the system with the surrounding and that creates an environment and that creates the basic ground plan for whatever it's designed to be designed well now in our current state of life also we have we have to understand my role towards myself that role has to be also towards the organization because if the individual only cares about the individual and nothing else beyond the society can the individual flourish yes or no no isn't it because a lot of times people say uh, in this today's day and age it is not required to have loyalty towards your organization a very beautiful t-shirt i saw on youngster if you want loyalty hire a dog so be like surprised uh, if you want loyalty there was a line written on the t-shirt <laughs> get a dog i so, want dog <laughs> yes yes <laughs> i found it very funny and amusing 
But now without loyalty, where are you working then? And say now, assuming there is always a big uh, problem is individual and organizational growth in a management that is the biggest problem. Should the individual grow or should the organization grow? Actually, if the organization does not grow, individual cannot grow. And if the individual does not grow, organization cannot grow. No matter how many rules, SOPs you create from the outside, but if the spirit of growing or that spirit is not inside, that growth cannot happen. That is why beautiful. Yes, Ji. Rakhi Ji, you were saying these something? Are, these are inherent qualities ah. which we need for our everyday living, for everything. Uh, uh, if, if we do not, uh, you know, if we are not following any one of these, I mean, um, yeah. just take an example of loyalty, mm -hmm. then we may be successful at times, but we will not be satisfied. We miss the bigger picture, isn't it? Yes. So, so the, the joy, joy of joy of doing things, joy of achieving things may not be there. Yeah. Even if All even right. if we are successful. Okay. Okay. That is wonderful. Means. If you means all three have to be together understood, means dharma should be there, kama should be proper. Kama is required, isn't it? In the Bhagavad Gita, has Krishna indicated he is kama also? Anybody? Do you recollect in the Gita? Have we seen that Krishna's connection with kama? Yes. Yes, sir. I think in the 11th right? chapter there is a shloka which relates to that. I ah. cannot recall it right now. But yes. uh, Kamosmi, uh, ah. I think uh, there, there is a shloka which says that. Yes. Chaitanyaji, you were saying something? I think it is like I am the energy of creation uh, or something. Uh, wow, you have already you have also studied the entire Gita, is it Chaitanyaji? That's wonderful. Rajivji is almost, all the shlokas we can say is almost by hearted. All of them we can. Uh, but I would not say he by hearted it, happened naturally probably. It's not something which he took it up as a task, but it comes very naturally. Yes, devoid of uh, passion, I am in that energy of procreation also, I am in karma also, is what Krishna says when he talks about the vibhuti. Yes. Yes, sir, please tell me, he found the shloka, is it, sir? Uh, well, no, but I'll find it as, as we go along. Ah, all right, let us, yeah. yes. So now what we were seeing is, yes, so there is some link between the all four of the Pusha, Purusharthas, but we cannot miss the bigger picture just chasing after. No matter what I want increment, in that increment run, rush, I stop taking care of myself. What happens then? Swadharma towards self is left. So I finally got increment and suddenly I got a big doctor's bill because of I did not take care of my health and whatever increment I have got has got offsetted. It is again a zero-sum game now because here this has not been understood. The bigger picture is lost. So we have to work, we have to enjoy also because without karma what's there? We have to experience. But again karma is taking you in a wrong direction. If it takes it in the wrong direction again you are losing the sight of the bigger picture. So and the artha, the means that we use to fulfill. Artha is basically practical application if we call it. Like one is the law of science and one is the technical application of it. So what are the means? Or Sun Zeus art of war. Follow it is what they say. Then you will always be successful. But again, can the individual manage all, all the factors and calculate? Kichalo, this is my dharma. No, this is not my dharma. Aren't there grey areas many times in life? What is my dharma? Arjuna had the biggest grey area at the most wrong time. Yat shreyaha syana nishchitam bruhitan me. He says, karpanya dosha pahata sava. Because he forgot what is dharma for him. What is my dharma? What is the way? Dharma samura cheta. He says, I have forgotten what is my dharma. Forgetting one's dharma is like forgetting who you are. Absolutely. Like if I go to a, say, a new city, I'm supposed to meet somebody. 
that's fine. I can get the address of that person and I can go and meet that person. But if I'm in my own city and I don't know who I am, what's going to happen? It's like that. So you forget your dharma or for some reason when you are overpowered with karma. When you are overpowered with karma. Arvind wants to add something? Is it so? Uh, yeah, yes, here, sir, please. Here the play of maya and three gunas come. So you have to be okay. conscious. Uh, you have to be conscious uh, to remember ah. your, what is your correct dharma. All right, sir. All right. Sir. So we will. about the role being played by Maya and the Gunas. But yes, but the question is if I have to be conscious, how many things yes. can I be conscious about? And how many gray areas are there? How many, how can I? I, mean, I think this is my dharma. Yes, uh, introspection, my... introspection will help. All right. Introspection I should think, help. Yes. I sir. think what uh, uh, Arvindji is saying is uh, right. I mean, the word consciousness that you use. Mm. And uh, the Gita guides us in the way that Vyavasayatmika Buddhi Kuru Kurunandana. So mm. there is only one. And that is the path. I mean, if, if you are going to follow this, there cannot be any other thing. So this is the Buddhi which will actually eliminate okay. all the confusions that are going to uh, come. I mean, if this Buddhi okay. is not there, then in right. that case, uh, we would never okay. get there. Yes. So we have been introduced now to the concept of Maya also. We'll look at that a little bit because Maya is Maya Vadi. <laughs> we will get lost in that Maya only sometimes so powerful and it is like a flux. Till... Anadi. Ha. Yes, sir. Anadi. Came with uh, yes, Krishna. Yoga Vanesh Maya Vanesh. came with Yogeshwar only, according to Bhagavadam. Yes, sir. Arvindji, you were saying something? Yeah. One has to consciously uh, keep coming back to uh, what he has to achieve. Yes. So, so one thing is we need to, one thing is if you see even in the ancient times, the society clearly understood dharma, artha, karma as important aspects. I have a duty towards society and it was very in interesting that in ancient times, we did not have environmental safety audits, isn't it? And yet people took care of the environment without having to have that. Because they understood it's my duty. I, I am living in this world. I am Nowadays you see best, best buildings, people purchase plots. Perfectly, uh, beautifully renovated plots. Just on the plot in front of them, there is full kachra. All the energy. No, no, that's not my land. That is not mine. But there's so much I'm seeing. I've spent so much such crores for this, developing this property. And from this property, my view is going where? To the... Yes, Haryam Ramanji, you were saying something? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Jai Shri Krishna to everybody. Jai Shri Krishna, sir. Ji, sir. I, I was just listening to the very interesting conversation and I thought I'll just... Yes, sir. That's more. most welcome, sir. Ji, sir. Uh, you know, the our Sanatan, the whole thing has been constructed so wholesomely yeah. that uh, we need to, whenever we discuss a subject, we need to discuss in the concept of its wholesomeness. Indeed, indeed. So, when we are talking of Purushartha, hmm. Purushartha should be superimposed within the four ashrams. Ah, beautiful, sir. Sri Aurobindo has done that. Jesus, you Jesus. know? Yes, sir. So, if you superimpose or uh, enclose the Purushartha within the context of the ashrams, hmm. you will get a very clear uh, path or a roadmap on how to design or how to ah. structure your karma, artha, dharma. All right, sir. Ji, sir. You know? sir. So, yes, so, sir. So just, That's you may, like to, yes, sir. you may like to elaborate on it. Okay. Sure, Thank sir. You. Sure, sir. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. So as we were looking at, yes, Sanatan Dharma has, we see, we try to pull out one concept in connection with a particular aspect. But it's like in now in Ayurveda, we know Haldi is good for certain aspects. So some researchers wanted to study the anti-cancer properties in Haldi. But what did they do? They tried to extract only curcumin. When Haldi is not just curcumin only, and in its own natural state, it is having, a, it is what we say, so many other uh, molecules, not a single one. So something like that, when you are talking, as Ramanji says, and Sri Aurobindo also has beautifully described, it is actually called Sapta Chatushta, seven types of force, out of which one is the Varanashrama Dharma, which is the four ashramas. Anybody knows the four ashramas? 
the four stages of life of an individual. May I begin with one? Can somebody complete? I think everybody will complete because I think everybody is aware. Brahmacharya, that is the first. And then it is the Gruhastha, then there is the Vanaprastha and the Sanyas. So first was the Brahmacharya. Brahmacharya is the state of the student, the learning uh, stage. So at that time, a student, can the student worry about Grihastha Ashram when he, when he is a student? So his dharma is very clear. So if you want him, call magnetic compass, ki, what is it? The Varna Ashrama Dharma also help. Because now at this particular stage of my life, for me, it is to learn, it is to grow. I do not want to deviate from my duty. In my Brahmacharya, I have to learn, I have to grow. Imagine if a student says, I do not like Mathematics, so I will not learn maths. Will that help in the long run? His desire or desire to not learn has taken over him completely. What happens then? So, so dharma, if he looks at his right now as the brahmacharya, I have to, I have to learn if I don't build my base. A friend of mine is talking about super specialized, a young friend. He is just now completing his school. His parents are worried and he feels watching animes is going to help him become a good doctor. I was very surprised by his logic and even surprising is the time, very untimely as uh, Arjuna got at a wrong time feeling sorrow like that. He is right before his exams, he feels he'll become a better doctor if he studies anime and he was trying to justify that to me. And I said, see, you are already talking about super specialization. You have not cleared the first step to enter and you have not cleared the entrance. Your exam also you have not started preparing. And how are you deciding about PG? Many most brilliant people cannot even choose the exact PG which they want when at that particular time because the entire system is so complicated and so what we can say competitive. Not, but people understand and they understand now is my dharma to learn and grow. So that is the Brahmacharya's dharma which at that time we will not have any doubt, isn't it? If we know, this is it. Grohastashram. Grohastashram is something which everybody has a duty towards the family. And that was an important aspect of society. So, Brahmacharya and then Grohastha towards my family. But now coming back, coming to family also. Now say after getting married, what happens to the individual dharma? It gets multiplied, isn't it? So many, so many individuals, so many connections and dharmas towards each of them. So a juggler can juggle, say, three pins at a time. Very good juggler can juggle four pins. But you say, here, take 20 pins and juggle them. It becomes impossible, isn't it? And sometimes marriage also appears like that, isn't it? From the outside, it looks chalo, wonderful, everything. And then suddenly, hurry. What kind of Pandora's box did I open? How many, how many dharmas I have to juggle? Means the best researcher, he might have got the Nobel Prize or she might have got the Nobel Prize. But when she comes or he comes to the house, all research, your Shetra, keep it with you. Right now, this place, what are you doing? What is it? And this person has a frustration. I'm doing so much here, but here I'm not doing so. You are failing your dharma here. No, everybody is first to point out mistakes. Bura jo dekhan mein chala, bura na milya, koi jo dil poja afuna mutsa bura na koi. Self-introspection is required, not at somebody's inputs about us. We only have to see for ourselves. But then comes a question of how do I balance? And then it becomes frustrating when we are nobody feel we are not able to, you know, manage all of this. But if we go into a state of consciousness, we understand what is the right dharma and then there is something beautiful about when you get that clarity of truth, isn't it? Satya, Satya is that which is omnipresent in every territory. What is Satya here is going to be Satya everywhere because that truth does not get lost. If you see, we will come to the gunas because it's actually a very, very deep question which Rakhiji gave us. 
uh, today. So yeah. now, if you just see the Satya also is always one. It will not change. Satya me vajayate, it is truth. But somewhere Satya is lost and I think uh, uh, Arvind ji talked about Maya. We get trapped in Maya and Maya then functions through gunas only. So we look at it a little later. Like say, what happened was uh, uh, now uh, a technician uh, Rajiv ji wants to say something, is it? No. All right. Uh, so uh, in the, in Pondicherry, in a very reputed hospital, which is a government hospital, which is taking care of lakhs and lakhs of patients, there a technician slapped the doctor. Now, is that the dharma of the technician? No. All right. But he says, I have the right. I have the right. It is my right because this doctor is treating me like I am actually a third class, cattle class. What am I? I am equally important. I should not be created. I have some sense, self-respect. This person has come into my uh, border boundary line. He has crossed. So flaring of... By it. any means, I do not have the right to disrespect anyone. Yes. Yes. All right. So now this doctor did this. Technicians feels my dharma is getting destroyed. My swa dharma is hurt. Dil pe laga hai bahut. I will yeah. not tolerate this. Doctor feels... How dare he touch me? Now this is again, both of them are thinking about the individual, isn't it? And the greater picture is somewhere lost because what happens next? The association of doctor comes in, association of technician <laughs> comes in. They both say, this is not right. This is too much. So many things are happening. This is not, we are going to, this cannot go on. Technicians also, they are uh, frustrated. Doctor says, no more safe for us. We are putting our lives on the line and you are doing this to us. And what happens next? Strike. And what happens to the services given by the hospital? They are, we can say, uh, stopped. So has his Lokasangra taking place? Is betterment of society taking place? No, it is not. And that is why in the Gita, Krishna keeps bringing our one dharma which is towards the betterment of the society. Is it going to make the society a better place? This particular, what I am doing, am I doing something right? Am I doing something which is going to lead to the betterment of the society? That is important. Otherwise, everybody's individual dharma karna will say, I did not do anything wrong, boss. You cannot deny me moksha and I have done nothing wrong. Though I was in the wrong party. I willfully associated myself with an organization which is doing wrong. Can we tell that to the enforcement directorate when they find out we have been siphoning of funds to a terrorist organization? Can we say, I didn't know this was a terrorist organization. Legally, it will have no value because you are unconsciously supporting a wrong deed. So here, and what happens most of the time, we lose our consciousness when the gunas come into place, flaring up of rajas. Rajas is connected with Kama also. Krodha is also connected with Kama. Bhagavad Gita says Kama Esha, Krodha Esha, Rajo Guna, Samudha. And how does it function? It functions in a moment and makes you lose everything. So here if you look, if you just diagnose the case of the doctor and the technician, it was the Rajas, isn't it? Bye. Yes, Mamtaji is saying something? Is it? No. All right. So it was, if anybody else, we are free. Today's session is always a discussion. So that Rajo, yes, sir. I, in one moment, I'll just come to Rajiv Ji. Yes, sir. So this Rajas flaring took place. Then it led to disruption of what? The peace of the place, the services also. It looked very bad actually in that hospital and patient service was getting affected. And somewhere, the conscience of everybody or those who are on the right side at least understood that no, this is not possible because technicians' dharma may be different, doctors' dharma may be different, but ultimately their dharma is one, isn't it? One sutra which is binding the doctor with the technician, with the receptionist, with the nurse, with every individual. That is to treat the patient. And that is one place where the sutra can be found. And that is exactly what the elders on both sides did. The elders came and intervened. They advised the doctor, okay, don't talk rough, rough, roughly. But even though you have talked roughly, that may be wrong. 
but at no point is it justified that physical violence can be done and whether it is any individual and especially even the technician cannot touch physically the doctor and then somehow both sides apologize and this situation was solved. When was it solved? When the dharma was understood. So dharma, artha, kama, all three of them have to be understood. To understand them, you need to be in the right consciousness. And uh, Rajivji was saying something. Yes, sir. Please go on, sir. Well, um, actually, the, um, the Gita answers most of the questions and it is for us to fine-tune our understanding with the Gita. Because as far as knowledge is concerned, the ultimate jnana, which is there, is sarva bhuteshu yenaikyam bhavam avyayam ikshate avibhaktam vibhakteshu taj jnanam vidhi satvi. So which means that, you know, that which is universal, wherein you identify yourself with the universe, basically, that there is no differentiation. Oh. There is There are no two, whether it is the doctor or the compounder. The so moment I... they get into that uh, the thing, that yes, there is no difference. Why should hmm. we hurt each other? And, and I mean, why should we hurt ourselves? I mean, once we start looking at things from that perspective, automatically everything happens. But it is not so easy because yeah. along with Ishwara was Maya created. Yeah. So I... it is Anadi, Ananda. It, it is not something which is separated. It is a part of him. And that is what is actually given yeah. by the Kunas. So but Sattva yes. Rajas Tamaiti Munaha Prakruti Sambhava. So these Unas are born out of Prakruti. Prakruti has always been there. Once we become a part of Prakruti, that means take birth. Nibadananti Mahavao. So Nibadananti yes. is actually they grasp you. I mean, you are in their hold, actually. Yes. And there the is... yogi becomes uh, bhogi. Correct. Exactly. So that is the transformation. Uh, and we are so living with that. Okay, so unless we accept the uh, the teachings of the Bhagavad Gita and okay. train our minds in that direction, it is always going to be difficult for us to keep coming back to what Arvindji said, consciousness. So consciousness is something which is very central. Now there is... There is All roads lead to Rome, something like that. It is Exactly. So there is another shloka, Nirmana Moha, Chita Sangha Dosha. Adhyatmanitya vinibrutta kamaha dvandvair vimukta sukadukha saudnyaji gachchantamda padam avyayantar. So that is the purushartha, the moksha of the purushartha yes. and also getting free from dvandvai, uh, from uh, uh, gunatit is also uh, the, uh, the, the Bhagavad Gita which gives uh, steps to take us into that state. Well, that, uh, okay. Yes. So, so uh, yes sir. Uh, I think Rajiv has given a beautiful connection. But then again, Maya, when we say Maya and it becomes too powerful, it's like, Are, yaar, how am I going to fight with the Maya when Narada, who was always in the smaran of Narayana, himself got trapped in Maya. Krishna, there's a beautiful story of Narada and Krishna where uh, Narada gets trapped. <laughs> and uh, when, when all the heavyweights are also going to not succeed, then we, one wonders, ki, how as an individual will I be able to but at least when we recognize that are we forget our dharma because of maya, that much we can ensure that let's not forget our dharma. When do we forget our dharma? When the gunas come into place. When the gunas are what? Again, maya's concept is, it is like if uh, maya is the motherboard, gunas are the operating systems. You may have the... Uh, a Mac, you may have a Linux, you may have Windows, but again, one of the operating system is going to function and where you are using, what you are using, that is up to you. Rajas, Tamas, Sattva, these are the three gunas which are, Krishna keeps telling these again and again in the Gita because they overpower you. When you are Rajasik, can you identify what is Dharma? When you are Rajasik? No. What is dharma? What is adharma? There is a shloka in the Gita only. Dharma and adharma both are lost to the Rajasik person. Yes, sir. Rajiv ji. The question of when do I forget my dharma 
it is when the i and my come in ha ah, ah. so you tend yes. to you have already forgotten the dharma isne how did this person talk to me like this i am <laughs> like this i am so great so ahankar is something which is the reason ahankar eva what we can say mula that is the root there is a root for forgetting for vismruti also but interestingly if we realize the supreme ahankar the like is it karma is wrong but wasn't karma the reason the srishti came into existence eko ham bahusyami is the ahankar of whom <laughs> of the supreme parmatman only so if yes. we understand if we can you know connect like again it is this it is something which has to be realized but before we see that the problem arises when how we function means if i have studied all the scriptures and i am following no scripture it's no use so practically how am i behaving how am i living and for that first when you are overly rajasic you cannot identify dharma so if your rajas is flaring inside go have a glass of water calm down Yes, yes. You want to give the best reply. Give the best reply. Give the best reply. The world has never heard before. Also, no problem. But go have a glass of water. Let that rajas go down. Yes, that person has wronged you. Right, right. But quiet down. Emotionally, when you enter into a battle, what's going to happen? You forget your viveka only. What skills you have lost? Means Gadesik ka kamesha krode. Sharjana when he is talked by Krishna saying. So you are saying divine inside everybody is there. Then why are they doing sin? Who oh, are speaking right now? The frustration inside Arjuna is preventing him to even realize the divinity. I know of a person who is a bhakta, of, who is uh, you know organizing so many retreats for various bhaktas. They come together, they sing, they chant, all of that. But in the mind of the bhakta, there is I don't trust the divine. who is arranging the session everybody is looking at that bhakta as someone who is connecting with the divine so many people but inside that person is only not connected so can we say this person is not connected no it is the rajas inside of the person which is like preventing the person from realizing and because of rajas brilliant great great heroes great great yogis they lose their yoga bal the tapo bal is lost suddenly in one moment because kama Both both came together, both came together together at the time. So again, Rajas is there. Then there is Then uh, Somebody wants to add something? Is yes, sir. example of Chandev and uh, hmm. He came on sitting on the tiger just to show. <clears throat> yes, and the same, yes. And the same person, the same uh, Rishi. Afterwards, uh, realize when he the realization dawned upon him, he sent a blank letter to uh, Naneshwar because he could not uh, decide how he should address him. The Changdev Pasheshti came afterwards, isn't it, Jin? Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. Ha, yes, yes, yes. So, Miss, now, yes, Raju is saying something. Yes, sir. You, uh, you mentioned a very subtle thing that. Uh, the lord is also involved in i mean who creates he creates hmm. but then the only difference there is that maya is powered by him and powered he is him. not under the influence of maya yes, that is the only influence. distinction yes. which we need to understand and now one one shloka of the gita is there this maya is so great devi hesha gunamayir maya सिस्टम विच हेज बीन क्रिएटेड It is like a game. It is like a game that has been created, and we are a part of the game. We'll have to crack the game to escape. We'll have to crack it to become free only, and that is the entire journey. We can say the entire journey of dharma, artha, kama, moksha, or even the uh, ancient society as Ramanji talked to us. 
some time back that we see a brahmacharya gruhastha but what happens karma holds on i am now gruhastha i worked so hard in my brahmacharya i knowledge i did i sacrificed so i got this much so these are properties which i will hold on to it could be intellectual properties it could be physical properties it could be immovable properties whatever properties we want to call it so we hold on to that gruhastha ashram and uh, brahmacharya everybody goes through <laughs> next ashram manavrastha then it okay i have to look after my family now my, in my gruhastha ashram only my family has become so big i'll have to take care of this but i don't have any other uh, family outside of mine my children are everything so if they are wrong also is okay because i have to take care of my family uh, one person brought a bit got such a huge family that he had 101 children and he was taking care of if he say gruhastha ashram he did all of his works 101 children i'm not talking about 101 dalmatians there is 101 in mahabharata we have isn't it kauravas dhritarashtra dhritarashtra was according to dhritarashtra he was doing right he was teaching the children mama kaha pandavas chaiva the bhed my for, for them society i don't care society comes next family comes first imagine if all the great people in bharat fought this way society comes first my family comes second bharat would not exist the very foundation upon which we are standing today is because of the sacrifice of so many but because of maya because of attachment we do not see beyond the individual it is very myopic even when chhatrapati shivaji maharaj is also born in maharashtra he is like a avatar he is an avatar we say the shivaraya is the avatar of shiva himself ma bhavani has sent for the liberation of maharashtra and truly what he did was remarkable people can say he is god sent today nobody argues but when he was there everybody made fun somebody of somebody felt means the moguls would call him the mountain rat in in the even the followers of shivaji they felt yes shivaji should be born for maharashtra but in my neighbor's house not in mine why no my bandu must or my my uh, daughter or son should live this kind of life should have this type of comfort and everything but should not suffer well this aspect that a disconnect with the society when it happens we unknowingly we fail in our dharma and that is why our connection must be there with the society we lose touch with the society we lose touch with our own real self also because there is a beautiful connection between our supreme self and the individual also and that is when we realize it we get moksha that is the last but this aspect of recognizing the society or recognizing our connect with it should not ever be lost and this is there even in the vedantic uh, aspects also means even the highest realization of soham asmi come when does it come it comes after recognizing the divine present in the world yatte kalyanatamam tatte pashyami give me the strength o krishna bhagwan to see all that is brilliant and divine and recognize the presence recognize your presence in them and then and then realize that i too am the so again dharma artha kama moksha it is something very important so when we come to vanaprastha ashram we must have the vanaprastha ashram in our life these are and these are not like rigid rules when we we'll see in one beautiful shloka about in the gita only which will really make us laugh afterwards because when we intellectually think we are juggling so many things but when we realize somebody else is doing all of this the entire uh, onus of balancing things in our life disappears and things get balanced also sheshanaga yes i'll just come to you in a moment if you see anybody has heard of atlas the yes. uh, what is he doing he is holding on to the weight of the world yes and how long is he doing it and or how long does he have to do it he has to always do it isn't it the one who is holding on to the earth 
एंड यू नो नो बडी एवर विस्पर्ड इन इज ईयर बॉस शेषनाग पहले से पकड़ के रखा है तुम्हें करने की जरूरत नहीं है If somebody had told him that he could have gone, even at least could have gone to his park, he could have done anything. Of course, we are not trying to disrespect the uh, these uh, the Greek uh, titans and all. But what I am saying is, many times we feel we are only holding. I am holding together the family. The samrajya of my shmati is in my hand. So many people feel that they are running this, they are own family and everything. But who is running? There is a beautiful cover. <laughs> तूने क्या बनाई तूने क्या सजाई सब किया है तो उसने तूने बातें बनाई समबडी एल्स इज लुकिंग आफ्टर एवरीथिंग बट वी बिगिन टू थिंक आई 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 सो फर्स्ट थिंग इज रिकॉग्नाइजिंग द सोसाइटी रिकॉग्नाइजिंग समथिंग बियॉन्ड व्हाट वी आर आल्सो रिकॉग्नाइजिंग आवर समष्टि एंड आवर रोल टू द समष्टि दैट इज बाय द इंडी आश्रम धर्म इज आल्सो दिवान प्रस्थ आश्रम वाज देयर what you have learned what you have received you must impart very few would go out of grahastha also they would hold on to grahastha only very few would feel that to go into the vanaprastha after vanaprastha they say don't look at that only this sanyasa ashram where the raja also will leave everything and become a mendicant he will roam around what is the work it is towards the moksha the next journey it's like a very good player who is excellent whose very presence brings a lot of strength and energy to so many people but that player decides no i will not i will continue playing i'm not going to retire only what's going to happen to such a player anybody best player great skills anyone what will happen i am not going to because i like this i am very attached to what i am doing and i am doing good for the world so i feel i am doing it so i will not let go is that right anybody what happens then no because the per- his performance will come down ha ah, his performance will come down it will affect the entire team If it is India, affect the team. If it is a team game, even if it's an individual, it will affect his body badly, isn't it? And yes. our body is not some machine which can be replaced. I'll wear and tear as much as I can. We have a duty. So that is also an swadharma of us. Idam shari idam kaunte ya Krishna is told in the thirteenth adhyaya only. First duty is towards your body. So again, it's something like this: the dharma, artha, kama. जंगलोटी No, here Vanaprastha is not only going to the jungle. One that was true, but what would happen in the Vanaprastha? In the jungles, they would do sadhana, and there would be interactions with people also. People would come. Satsangas would also take place. Many times, ashrams were set up in the jungles only. So Vanaprastha is, we can say, in today's context, it's all I did. I've completed my duties. Like a bird says, no, raising the child. Chal, my children have now flown away from the nest. Now, should I think about building another nest, or should I think about the society? As in, the bird is not having that ability to think, but human beings have that, isn't it? We have to recognize that. Chal, oh, okay. I may have one child, two child, physically, biologically, yes, but I may have many other children in the world also. just like how you can when you see vasudhaiva kutumbakam there are those who are unfortunate let me try to do something let me try to make a difference let me do something beyond my own self or what i have learned say i have been charging so much for all my sessions which i have been conducting or i have learned and now at the moment my duties are this is not rigid actually because in some cases some people i have to i have seen in the village a 60 year old person still earning for a 20 year old son who is a drunkard 
So this person cannot say now it's my one person because this child is like this. This child has to do. Child is not following the dharma, but father is doing. The dharma is bound to. Unfortunately, these are life situations. So many life situations are not in our hand. But in general, as a one person, let us pass on to the society. Why? I care about my family. Tomorrow I will not be there, but my children will be there. And in which society are they going to live in? I have to. I have a daitwa. I have a responsibility. It was a beautiful song when I was growing up. We had heard, "Let's plant new seeds and watch them grow." So there will be flowers in the window when we go. So that plant planting of the seeds should start, and it should not be only in my place. Tomorrow, where who's which garden? Who's garden? In a plot just opposite to our factory, one father had purchased it for his uh, two children. <laughs> This was around ten years ago. I used to always watch every time there would be a nice harvest, and every time I would see it happening. Suddenly, four, five, six years after that, after going there, I saw what has happened. Nobody is cultivating anything. I went and uh, I asked the local uh, persons. They told me, "No, no. See, what happened was that person passed away, and the children filed a case against each other. They are fighting so the." Act regarding the property position, uh, legal battle is going on. So because that legal battle is going on, the cultivation is stopped. Means both of them continue your legal battle. Say, चलो ठीक है, both of let us do something productive. Somebody would go have got something out of it, but no, it is still going on. And did and did the father even imagine while purchasing that property, this will be the property that will take children to the court? No, but the father probably would have. Could have thought something else beyond uh, beyond what we can say. Just the individual. We do certain things thinking we are doing right, but in that time when we negate the society or we neglect the society, it comes back to us in ways we don't know because karma is the flux which is binding everybody, whether or not you agree it. Corona taught us, isn't it? Swachhata karya karta is are also equally important or if not most important in our society. What will they were looked down upon by the society, and suddenly a caller taught us that no, no, they are so important. So again, societal aspects. So in the one plus the stage is where you are passing on. My responsibility is now. After I have done, I have given, I have given what I need to to fulfill my grihastha ashram duties. Now it's time. Now it is time to work for my bigger family. Which is the Srishti? I was born with a family. I was born in a particular situation, and I have lived in that. But let me now try to rise above that. That is the state of Pana Prastha. And Sanyasi, Sanyasi has nothing else but the divine and the individual. Means even Pana Prastha stage is complete. I finished my. I finished receiving knowledge stage. Means knowledge is never over. Means my my guru also says Damli says even teacher cannot say stop learning. A guru is always learning and always growing, but now the outer daitwa, no, of passing on the wisdom also, the sannyasi is moving around. Alak niranjan, adesh, it is just going on. Connection with the supreme divine. That does not mean sannyasi is doing nothing for the world also, isn't it? The mother of Sri Aurobindo Ashram had beautifully said, "If at all the French Revolution take took place, it was because there was a man on Indian snows meditating upon liberty, fraternity, equality. Cosmically connections work when you are connect with connected with the cosmic consciousness. So that is the moksha, and that was how society was uh, designed. But very few would go up from beyond the grihastha." And that has resulted in many more Mahabharatas, also, isn't it? From the beginning to the end, it it goes on, and that is where. So the sutra, if we see, is something. But then, do we have to intellectually plan everything? It is not intellectual; is very limited. Our Gita tells about it. We have mana, we have buddhi, we have ankar. All three are part of us only. Sometimes we don't understand dharma. Krishna has to teach Arjuna dharma, and still Arjuna forgets it again. He says after Gita, he says, "Krishna, what you said was wonderful, but I don't remember it. Can you please tell me again?" Krishna says, "No, time will not come again, but I will try. Since you are sincere, you want to know, I will try my best." And he gives one more version of the Gita, which is called the Anu Gita, a smaller version. 
but it is not going to be the same again. But in the 18th Adhyaya of Gita, Krishna tells something about dharma. Because every time you, I am doing dharma, I am upholding dharma, people try to bring in rajas. For dharma's sake, you should get up and use one swear word on one more person. It is because you are not using this swear word, people like this is happening, this person is dying because you didn't use a swear word. That is a rajasic uh, logic which is used. You are pushed into acting because of rajas. Can we allow rajas to work into us just because somebody else is having rajas? No, that's not possible. But can we get lost in sattva so much that we forget it? Krishna has told, isn't it? In three gunas also there is gunatita. What is gunatita state? That is a state of higher consciousness. Where all gunas are functioning through you. When a durvasa gets angry, it is the divine that is functioning to durvasa and not some cranky old man who is getting angry. So that lie is there, that connection is there. Krishna says that connection was important for him to give the Gita to Arjuna. And that is why when Arjuna again asks, he says, no, that lie is over. So the Gita will not come again the same way, it will come differently. So that lie has to be understood and there is one way only and it is there in the secret of getting out of Maya because it will go to trap us. Maya metam tarantite Where do we have to penetrate Maya and reach? The divine. It is the divine that we have to reach so we have to surrender to the divine. Surrender our logic. Sometimes in sadhana also we have to surrender our understanding of how our sadhana is proceeding. According to an individual, I have pro progressed, say, level 1 to level 2 to level 3. Is it a game that we are playing on the some device that it has to proceed in this level only? It is our intellectual mind that is rationalizing everything. One Level 1 can go to level 100. Level 100 can become level 0 also suddenly. Like snakes and ladders that used to play in ch childhood. Suddenly, then, so... That is why Krishna says, Sarva dharmaan parityaje mamekam sharanam raja aham paam sarva papedyo moksha isha ami maashucha. Don't worry about moksha, I will relieve you. But Sarva dharmaan parityaje, surrender to the divines. And that is the singular aspect. But to understand that surrender, it is sometimes a lifelong process. But I think as Ramanji talked about this, the Varnashramas. You remember your Varnashrama. And in that same time, control the gunas. If surrender is there, you will you will realize. And if you are surrendered, your uh, Rajas also will be invoked by the Divine to do a higher work. Has anybody got this experience where you are not angry but your words have been strong more than usual. And that has actually helped leading to something better, something constructive. Anybody has felt that in life? That no, I am not a person this way, but suddenly something, some higher consciousness worked through me. Anybody? Any moment? Scolding children. Okay, scolding. Is it pretty? Okay, while scolding, then can you just give me an example so we can also relate to it? When they are not doing their dharma, when they are not studying and... Oh, children, you are saying. Achha, children, you... Okay, okay, that's an interesting one, yes. So, we are not really angry at that time when we are telling the children. But, we say too softly, they'll never do it. So, you raise your tone. But, on in your heart, you are not taking it. They say, mat lena. Something like that, you are not taking it to the heart. So, that way you are not disturbed in your consciousness. You are doing your duty in a dispassionate manner. But the moksha is the highest. The moksha is something which is also not our responsibility. It's our consequence. Uh, Rajiv, you want to say something? Yes, sir. Please go on, sir. You were saying something? Yeah. Uh, I mean, you have put it so wonderfully, actually. Uh, while you were talking, there were some shlokas that kept coming. Uh, Ji, sir. So, I just wanted to mention uh, two or three. Yes, sir. Was, uh, you gave an example of uh, an excellent sportsman who wanted to withdraw from, uh, I mean, who, who was thinking of giving up uh, and what would happen because of that. So that is uh, actually Yadahankara Mashritya Na Yodse Iti Manyase Mithyaisha Vivasayaste Prakruti Swam Niyokshati. 
This is the shloka which Arjuna, Arjuna was. Hi, Krishna was says, told yes. when he decided not to fight. And uh, yeah. okay. Uh, I mean, it was in it. I mean, yada ankaram ashritya. So basically, yes. He, so ankar uh, is you have taken refuge. You have instead of surrendering in the divine, you have surrendered yes. to ankar. Yeah. And and it is okay. the prakruti and which I was, is yes, hopelessly. I mean, you, you have no control over that. Uh, it will eventually yes. take over. Yes, sir. So this and, is. But I actually and, I talked about a person who was not wanting to retire, though the time had come. The writing on the wall, he was not willing to read. But again, it's the same thing, isn't it? Yes. I am better. I know my right time. All right. Yes, please continue, sir. So that is one. And another thing is, I mean, we are all subject to gunas. There is no doubt about it. But in order to, there is only one word which is important in the Gita, which is said, Gunairi yo na vichalyate. I mean, you are not getting disturbed by the gunas. I mean, you are mm -hmm. you are uh, you are in a state wherein you see that the gunas are playing amongst themselves, and you manage to maintain that uh, uh, this thing, so that there is no disturbance. So that is that is the state of gunantita, which is so well described in the Bhagavad Gita. So these yes, are the two yes, things sir. that I wanted to add. Yeah. Yes, sir. So, um, if we want to recognize, I think in all, whatever Varnashrama we are following, whatever Dharma we are in, surrendering to the Divine. Saraswati Namastu Bhyam Varade Kama Rupini, for the Brahmachari, he can think of it. Again, Ma Saraswati, give me your blessings, so I will be a good Gruhastha. Again, Ma Saraswati, give me your blessings, so I bring good to the society i'd be able to do loka sangra give me your blessings i will so again it is not you don't take ashray ashray of ankar you don't take ashray of growth you don't take ashray of desires desires are there you cannot push it or nobody will say ki, i don't have desires a person who does not have desire is not a human being only because it every human being is like having two eyes we have two ears everybody has inside of them desires but but are you taking sharanagati of the desires? Are you becoming a slave to the desire? That is the question. And then in the last stage also, it is something Saraswati Nrityatu Vachi Me Sada also is. Vasanyasi also when he's connected with the mother Devi or the God or the Goddess, that time also, the surrender is required. So in any stage of life, we have to have it. Uh, Adiji wants to add something? Yes, sir. Then we'll probably Sarva consider that. Sarva Rambha Parityagi Gunati Tasa Uchyate. Sarva Rambha Parityagi. Who is a Gunati Tasa? He has stopped the initiations of Ahankar. But yes. does that person not do anything? No. He is starting he does everything. to everything. He is doing everything. Means if you see, we talked about Devi now. If you see the Siddha Kunjika Stotra. It is something Om Kari Srishti Rupai Rim Kari Pratipalika Klim Kari Kama Rupinye Bija Rupe Namostute. But when you are in that consciousness, your Kama also is the Kama of the Divine to create, to create something new. They create something which is not having the Maya of the Gunas functioning inside of you. It's like, we like the roses. Nobody likes the thorns. So why not, if you want a rose without thorns, you'll have to take an extra care. A very different uh, method of cultivation will be required. That cultivation is only what we call sadhana. We will have to do that. And only way we can go ahead is by the grace of the divine. The grupa of the guru, the grupa of the aradhya, the grupa of the ishta. So again, we'll have to surrender to that. And that we have to be truthful. So again, sincerity will be the ultimate aspect. Sincerity towards the divine can allow us to realize the highest Purushartha in this life. And Krishna says, Maashi chaha, Moksha ishyami. Are, Moksha mein de dunga, mera kaam hai wo. You cannot really go to the doctor and say, Doctor, do like this, huh? surgery karte ho, kaise karo, waise karo. <laughs> the doctor will say, wait, my patient, I will sit on the patient's table, you do the operation on me. Patient has to remain patient, isn't it? The doctor will do the work. So, moksha's aspect, let us not allow ankara or rajas or kama of moksha is also a problem. 
and people have to take advantage of that also everywhere you become vulnerable when you become a slave of desire i'll just and conclude with the subhashit a very famous one asha yae dasaste dasaha sarva lokasya asha yasi dasite sham dasaite lokaha slave of desire is a slave of the world so now the four purusharthas have to be recognized in the light of the gunas yes gunas will function but at the same time if we lose connect or smaran of the divine we are likely to allow one or some wrong force to work inside of us lucky ji i hope uh, the question that you asked has been dealt with with justice and then i'll probably conclude the session are you yes probably rakhi ji has left then uh, so can we yes are you can we conclude with the uh, shanti mantra dr suraj ji wants to add something yes sir uh, um, as we uh, go through our uh, life like uh, dharma artha kama moksha we can uh, apply to every aspect everyone does this like uh, dharma is something we choose to do if nobody is taking any kind of dharma he is doing something meaninglessly even if that is also a dharma we can say it's karma like if it is not with a principle it is for unpurpose without any aim so we put that to krishna do your karma for krishna so that becomes the dharma even if you are doing nothing aimless mm-hmm. if you are doing for krishna it becomes dharma for krishna so the karma phala will also become ha your... krishna may hmm. so that is some people doing some people doing it for themselves or like that it it entangles with the maya and uh, you so nice get listen. deeper deeper into it like uh, you create something you earn something you fulfill, fulfill your dreams with the earned anything like money fame everything you do uh, do it for your compulsion from inside for that particular desire to get recognition yeah to, to own something like that and and then what you don't get moksha then you get yeah. frustrated you find some you create new moha new agraha and you get again into that dharma or the kama like you never get into that moksha position unless you do this dharma karma for krishna you get that moksha. Uh, okay so very well okay. said beautifully beautiful very nice yes uh, so i think that was very nice so one thing is i think from this we should identify krishna dharma yes for the moment our dharma towards krishna that's right. all all the purusharthas will be realized moksha is also going to be granted krishna arpanamastu krishna arpanam and krishna dharma of this moment for krishna is this correct is this right that will should be our sutra i think dr suraj ji has shown a great light on this topic thank you <laughs> yes sir you know we don't know what is right or wrong because we yes. don't know any actually we know so something bring krishna into the picture he says dadami buddhi yogam Yeah, <laughs> he gives the good. <laughs> we don't have that. Onus is his, isn't it? Yes. Getting some little bit of knowledge, we think we know everything, and with ahankara we stand upon everyone and say, "Yeah, I know, I know more than very you." Very beautiful, sir. And you said little knowledge, no? Little it knowledge is, for oh, people is sufficient. It is sufficient. It is sufficient. It is it is sufficient. And it is but it is important to have that humility also. This Tukaram yeah. had said this. I understand. Now, Yes, there is more than we are being under no or we can perceive. Yes, yes, and that is why probably Tukara Maharaj had said this: Lahan pana dega deva, mungi sakharecha rava, aira vada ratna thora. So that is ankusha che mara. Means give give me the smallness of an ant, give me the smallness so that I become like an ant, and for me one grain of sugar <laughs> becomes great. It becomes huge. it becomes like wow but otherwise if i am an airavat huge what's going to happen the mahot who will be sitting on it is going to use a harsh weapon onto the head of the airavat and hit him give me that humility and when we will realize that 
he will be like sudama suddenly seeing what krishna has done is this my house oh is this home i have come to i have come to the wrong house this is not mine but that is the grace which is transforming everything that was so transformative even his wife was like he was looking at her and who is this excuse me ma'am i come to the right right place because that is the divine transformation and that is where we have to again consciousness will function when we connect without connecting we cannot receive so i think if we can draw a conclusion let us remain connected let us remain connected with the divine at all moments let us recognize our krishna dharma maybe that can be the sankalpa at all points what is krishna dharma let me know that with clarity let my viveka never get bhrashta from realizing what is krishna dharma this moment is krishna dharma and how do i implement myself following the krishna dharma do we need rajas for implementing krishna dharma force of rajas taking over no we may have to become gunatiya and use rajas where it's required without getting carried away by it so again for krishna dharma we have to remember that we will have to follow it in practice in the right manner so i think with this let us let us conclude with a shanti mantra and what a satsang today everybody so i'm so lucky i keep getting uh, such opportunities thank you everyone let us conclude with a shanti mantra सर्वे सुखिन सर्वे सन्त निरामे भद्रा पश्य कश्य दुख भाग भवे कृष्ण मंदे जगद्गु जय श्री जय श्री कृष्ण हरि ओम नमस्कार हरि ओम हरि ओम नमस्कार हरि ओम हरि ओम हरि ओम हरिओम 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 जी नमस्कार